Greetings to you mamas out there. This is Althea back with you today, your feng shui coach and expert, uh, wrapping up this series about the wood element. This week, I have been talking to you about wood personality as it relates to clutter, as well as how imbalances show up in the body uh, in relationship to wood chi. And today, I am talking about times in life where you may want to adjust or activate or support the wood areas in your home. They relate to different aspects of your life situation. So uh, as, as I mentioned before, some of the qualities associated with the wood element have to do with uh, being ambitious, having a lot of drive, being able to come up with new ideas, start new projects, plan for the future. Um, it's all about starting new and the ability to, to cultivate, uh, to nourish that which you begin and see it to fruition. So there is a yang and yin aspect to um, the wood element. So the yang aspect has to do with planting the seeds, being a visionary, seeing, seeing what you want to come forth and, and manifesting that in a way and following through, right? And that part requires so much energy to start something new. And it also relates to the energy it requires to start a family. So it's connected to new beginnings as well as family. And so think about the energy it takes to create a child for for all of you, you know, moms out there, you know, the work it takes on your body to grow this, this new being, um, and to push this new being out into the world requires tremendous strength. Um, so all of that is, is that kind of young energy. And then the yin form of wood chi has to do with once you've planted the seeds and you've cultivated them, you you start to see, you start to see things grow. You start to um, watch your business grow. You start to see people more attracted to you, and so this this growth becomes very strong and steady, like like a strong, stable tree, and the qualities associated with a strong, stable tree have to do with having that feeling of abundance in your life, right? So you've worked really hard and now you can continue to work, but it's at a, at a more steady pace. There's less um, like exhaustion, exhaustive effort <laughs> taken because you've put all the hard work in and you get to keep going, um, but at a more stable, Pace. And so the qualities of this yin aspects of, of wood have to do with abundance, stability, generosity, flexibility. And so there's, you know, there's two sides of this, of this wood, this wood coin. Um, so times in life when you might want to work on either of these areas would be, let's say, well, you know, from a, from a physical perspective, you know, when would she gets out of balance for somebody, you might be experiencing those angry outbursts. So, so that would be considered kind of an excess amount of would chi, right? Cause it's just, you know, angry, ang sorry, anger is a normal, healthy emotion. When it's out of balance is when you find that it's difficult for you to self-regulate. And you might see this within yourself and you might see this also within family members, right? So if you find yourself feeling just angry so much of the time or yeah, like just little things are bothering you and, and you find yourself just feeling like the need to explode, this might be an area to work on. So when there is an excess of wood chi, we want to bring in, helps to bring in actually another element that might 
help to control it or soften it. So you could bring in more of the metal element because the metal element chops wood, right? So it can cut down some of that excess chi. Um, so you can use actual metal elements like bowls and silver and gold. Um, you can bring it into your new beginnings area um, or in, in the abundance area. So that's going to be the far left, top left corner is the abundance area. If you you'd walk into your room, you would stand in the doorway and you would find the farthest left corner from your room or also the far middle um, side wall area of your room. So that would be the new beginnings area. So you can bring in white um, that, that represents metal. You can bring in white colors. You can bring in the actual you know, metal objects. And then you can also bring in, in things that are shaped, you know, have round shapes. So these are different ways that you can express the metal element. You can also bring in the earth element. So in feng shui theory, wood actually controls earth because you know, you think of how plants push through the earth, they break up the earth. But you can also deplete wood by adding an excess amount of earth chi. Now earth, you know, it's all about that ability to be receptive, receptive and soften. And so when there's excess anger, we want to find ways to soften out, soften the, the excessive anger. So you can bring in, you know, earthy colors, browns, oranges, creams. You can bring in rectangular shapes. Um, you can bring in pottery, like actual pottery. So that's like representing the earth chi. Uh, so those are ways that you can add other elements to the Bagua areas that are connected to new beginnings and abundance. Um, so uh, on the flip side, if you're feeling like you don't have a lot of energy, like it's really difficult for you to move forward in life or to, to make decisions and you just find yourself feeling really lethargic or kind of down, um, you would actually want to bring in an element that, that feeds wood, nourishes wood. So in five element theory, water feeds wood wood so that way you're actually um, helping that wood chi to grow and so water is symbolized by you know the actual element of water so you could even you could bring in a water fountain um, you can bring in you know the color black you can bring in sha wavy shapes so you could have imagery you know of water you could have wavy images placed in in either of those areas of of the home so you can do this in your home as a whole or you could do this in your bedroom i you know often doing things like this in the bedroom are a great place to start because that is the biggest representation of you the only caveat is that you would not want to bring in a a water fountain into the bedroom because that is a lot of moving chi and that could affect your sleep. Um, one cool little trick is you could actually get a like a black pot and put a plant in it so that way it's like symboli symbolically um, sh representing the water feeding the wood with a plant and then you're adding water to it to help that plant grow. So that's a, a great way to boost the wood chi when it's you're feeling depleted. Um, now, if you're seeing a lot of disharmony in the family, like you're feeling those, you're having those angry outbursts, but you're also seeing that it's impacting the dynamic with your partner or your children. I experienced a lot of this um, in, in the home, which, you know, as some of you know, led to me and my husband separating because our fighting was um, having a really negative effect on our kids, especially my older son, and we had to do a lot of work, uh, you know, interpersonal work with counselors to deal with this situation. So always you want to take action when it comes to things like that. 
um, but we can find ways to to subtly support harmony in the home using feng shui so one thing that i would recommend is to get like a a string of the 12 zodiac animals like a red string with all 12 zodiac animals connected which is you know signifying um that that there's room for everyone in this home to exist and you know the 12 zodiac animals are connected to the nine star chi chi ki and the bagua so that is just showing that all personalities are welcome in this home. So that's one little adjustment that you can make to just increase harmony among all the family members. And you can place that actually in your entryway if you wanna be able to see this and get this message. You know, every single time that you come home, you see it, so you can place it there or you can actually place it in the family gua, the new beginnings gua of your home. Um, and so when it comes to wanting to start a project, um, you know, one, one great adjustment is really just to, to bring in more plants, to bring in one to three plants and, and place them in the new beginnings area of your home. And, you know, always, anytime you do any kind of a feng shui adjustment, you want to do it with intention and just visualize the you know the outcome that you want for this adjustment now if you've actually started the project and you're doing well and you're you're wanting um you're wanting to progress in that area and you're wanting to see more abundance then you could bring in amethyst you know amethyst is a is a great feng shui symbol of abundance you can bring in citrine um, which is a symbol of wealth. So, you know, you would place that in the abundance and wealth corner of your room or your entire home or maybe in your office space. Um, so those are ways that you can support uh, that overall feeling of abundance, that, that desire for more, that feeling of worthiness that you're meant for more. Like these are ways to symbolically um, represent that. You can also bring in the colors, you know, the color purple, which is connected to the abundance corner. So using purple, you can still use the teals and the bright greens and the blues because that's also connected to the wood element. Um, so yeah, I know I've said a lot here today. So, you know, I could probably go on forever about all of this stuff, but I try to keep these videos uh, somewhat short and sweet, right? Little bite-sized videos. Um, so thank you for getting this far. And I hope that, you know, you find some little nuggets, some little gem or something that you can can use from, from all of these suggestions. And as always, you know, you don't have to do them all. I'd say just pick one, pick one this week or this month that you want to to try out and and feel how it you know moves your chi thank you so much and like this video if you found it helpful share it and let me know in the comments below like what what you could see yourself trying out or you know what area in, in your life you feel like you you need a little boost and a little feng shui boost all right, thank you so much. Ciao.